possibility you know of 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 reversing back the other being the the, the, the producer of that and among the Punan storytelling also is important as a discourse on re-territorializing from within what you guys have all heard now I want to come back here to the value of postmodernist ethnography in post peasantry in Southeast Asia right uh, I find that it's very effective as a mode of interrogating identities in the era of global flow in this case uh, where the imagination is constituted in fact and where the imagination is not just a site of the case but also an agency in the history and so the power of postmodernist representation to popular culture media on identities like gender ethnicity youth and multiculturalism uh, go beyond the recent past for a long time i think sociologists have been very much limited by the text that we have now you know as the new imagination moves on through this new technology through the different escapes and the bigger escapes you know knowledge production goes beyond text and the imagination is always uh, you know ready to embrace uh, these new modes of of um, this new medium um, of what i call sociology I remember uh, our late uh, filmmaker from Malaysia um, who just passed away. Um, she, she was an icon in Malaysia. And her imagination of what Malaysian multiculturalism is goes beyond the sociology text because she's able to imagine what real Malaysian multiculturalism should be through her films, uh, Sepet, and some of the other what award-winning uh, uh, film. Um, so I see this power of you know, postmodernist representation uh, in terms of a new methodology, which is able to capture beyond text and to, inter to interrogate mythology in interrogating basically human rights and the institution um, that we have in this country. OK, thank you. We have such a limited time, but anyway, I think this kind of uh, epistemological, epistemological debate is very important for uh, critical social science. But anyway, uh, we cannot leave out the empirical as well. You know, so maybe Professor Hasekawa, if you help us a little bit to, to, to show the linkage between the two from his own experience in the study of uh, uh, from Japan, from the experience from Japan. Please. present uh, such a uh, great uh, plenary session uh, on toward a po building a real sustainable future uh, learning from the great East Japan earthquake. Uh, I we came from uh, Sendai, one of the most uh, devastated area by the tsunami attack uh, 2000. This is my house uh, and office on March 11, uh, 2.46 p.m. I was uh, sitting uh, uh, in this chair. Uh, then, uh, at the second floor of my uh, house, very usual peaceful Friday afternoon, 
suddenly turned to a disaster. My feeling was just like a movie or a bad dream. The longest six minutes of dreadful quakes I had never experienced. Fortunately, in my area is in hillside, so I and my family were uh, enough to survive. Uh, but within the same city, Sendai, coastal area was severely damaged like that. More than 800 people died. Very sad. Uh, this is a, a same place with sharp contrast before and after a tsunami attack. The owner of a fish shop was posting, we are surviving and let's never give up. Uh, the Great East Japan earthquake is the largest disaster in Japan uh, since World War II. Uh, more than 80,000 people died. It is an unprecedented triple disaster by earthquake, tsunami, and a severe nuclear accident. Widespread areas along 500 kilometer coastal line were devastated, especially remote, rural, depopulated, and aged coastal areas based on the fishing industry and agriculture was devastated. Uh, research questions today is first, how can I, we grasp the major characteristics and problems of this disaster and of the rebuilding the devastated local community? Second, based on the experiences of this disaster and other disasters in recent Asia, how should we extend the definition of the concept of sustainability? Uh, this paper uh, discusses these questions and problems to tackle in the recovering process in the tsunami devastated areas based on the case study in some fishermen's village Sanrik town is one of the most uh, severely devastated towns on 311. The huge three tsunami waves of 15.5 uh, meters high left 824 people dead, 4.6% of the whole population. And almost all of all shops and houses were swept away and turned into rubble and wreckage. Within only 10 minutes, suddenly the whole of the central area of this town vanished. Uh, the usual, very beautiful, peaceful, quiet way like that, suddenly turned into the awful tsunami waves and destroy the town. And uh, today, to simplify the argument, uh, I mainly refer to the uh, tsunami disaster, not to the nuclear disaster, uh, which I already discussed several times in, and, uh, in several papers. Uh, here is a battlefield. Even for the even 40 days later of the disaster, standing in a coast area severely devastated uh, by, uh, by the giant tsunami, I was realizing here, here was a kind of battlefield. Although I never visited a real battlefield, many wooden houses 
was swept away. Only base meant that. Only the steel frame of the most sturdy structures remained. I found a lot of marking of everyday life suddenly shut down by the tsunami. A shirt of broken pottery, futon, photo album, toys, cars, and so on. I felt like I was listening to a lot of voices of sorrow and mourning from ruins and piles of wreckage. The next my feeling uh, there was a second defeat after the defeat of World War II. In spite of the nationwide catastrophic situation, at the first defeat in 1945, many authors, young or elderly at the time, found a sense of liberation, a sense of starting over, and a variety of hope. At last, a long war, including the second Sino-Japanese war since 1932, was over. Make the transition from military control to democracy, rebuild the state, and remake the entire society and economy. The goals were very clear. At the time, the U.S. was the model to follow. But in its time, a sense of entire loss is overwhelming. Where is hope? Where is a new future? Where is a new trigger to rebuild? We are facing a down slope, not a rising sun anymore. We are tackling the second largest nuclear accident at the Fukushima uh, nuclear plant, a decreasing population, the coming of a highly aging society, catching up by South Korea and China, unstable politics and the leadership crisis of short-lived prime ministers, a lost decade or two decades of long economic recession, and the delay of political reformation. The goals and models to go forward were lost. All generations are suffering a strong sense of stagnation and can't find a way to get out. Then, two years and 11 months passed. In the devastated area, the speed and pace of the recovering process is very slow. Due to the loss of effective political leadership and the very bureaucratic rigid reactions and sectionalism of the national bureaucrats. After clearing up rubble and wreckage, there is still almost nothing ex except vacant ground, and a large amount of money is only bringing public works of long lines of a huge coastal review. Chinese Great Wall, <laughs> uh, despite being a fisherman's village, a new life starts uh, remote from the ocean uh, and with no ocean view. Among uh, residents of small temporal housing, there are a lot of crash leverage of interest. Within the household, we can find a, a generation uh, gap between the retired elderly with a pension and the younger generation raising uh, children uh, and seeking a job. While uh, elderly generation wants to come back to the previous area or stay within the same hamlet. But younger generation hopes to move out of the village to an inland area more convenient for getting higher income 
better uh, shopping, transportation, and education. In spite of the evaluating uh, value of family, a, a community, a, and social bonds, and a robust calling to be engaged in Let's Make Bonds campaign by governments and media right after the disaster, such a disaster uh, utopian situation uh, went away uh, six months later. And then disparities and dissidents came in. Minamisanic town of Xiao proposes the population aging rate of over the 65 years elderly will increase to 38% in the year of 2033, 10% higher from 28% before the tsunami. The population will decrease to less than 13,000 from uh, 17,000 in 2010. Uh, there are a lot of uh, problems, uh, sense of uh, isolation, loneliness, and separated family life, alcoholism, abuse, addiction, and uh, domestic violence. Housing uh, before the uh, tsunami was plentiful for several uh, family members in such a rural area or uh, fishing uh, area. But the current uh, temporal housing is insufficient with typically only uh, two rooms. Only in this space for one uh, household. Uh, every refugee is very unsatisfied and feeling of suspended and a kind of limbo that only a few even almost uh, three years past, only few knows the day and the place to move to a new settled housing. Even within, within small towns, there are some sharp clashes and divided interests regarding recover, re recovering costs. Allocation of government uh, budget and subsidies and community renovation among hamlets like the location for a new integrated elementary school. Before the tsunami, several hamlets had the own elementary schools within walking distance. But because of the decreasing number of children, they have to share the new integrated elementary school with other areas. Several small, small fishing ports are forced to integrate no uh, two bomb middle sized port. An efficient and strategic allocation of subsidies and resources for central area, uh, national and local government recommended, recommend, or refused allocation for every hamlet on an equality principle. This is a basic, very controversial axis of struggle and discussion. Currently, the number of news articles in newspapers or on TV news on the tsunami devastated area are getting smaller and smaller. Most people in metropolitan areas seem to have completely forgotten the disaster, the disaster and the nuclear accident. The current Abe cabinet, with a high approval rating, it's blasting economic recovery and a successful bidding for the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo and forcing activities involving right-wing political reforming, including the revisions of the Pacific Constitution, Article 9. The last uh, topic uh, is uh, sustainability. Uh, uh, today, uh, uh, today uh, I'm very glad uh, to hear uh, this morning uh, Dean, uh, Prof. 
Professor uh, Tennyson uh, referred uh, here, University of uh, Chiang Mai uh, has a lot of uh, institution related to sustainability and sustainable, sustainable development. Please keep remember, in the last two decades, uh, the Asia Pacific region has suffered a lot of serious natural di disasters uh, like that. Uh, the 2010 and 2011 Thailand floods, and uh, remember uh, last November, Super typhoon in the Philippines, Seba Island. Previously, the concept of sustainability has been mainly advocated by European scholars and politicians who uh, had few experiences of natural disasters. The definition of sustainability uh, has been most widely quoted as a part of the concept of sustainability development, uh, yeah. uh, originally a, a report of the Brutland uh, Commission uh, in 1987 titled Our Common Future. Uh, so uh, this report uh, stated that sustainable development is development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own needs. Uh, these needs have to be met not only in the present, but also in the future. The concept of sustainable development uh, can be integrated with three main goals, economic growth, environmental conservation, and social equity social equity between South and North, and current generation and future generation. Uh, but based on our sociological studies and experiences of the recent disaster in Asia Pacific area, uh, Asian scholars should propose extending the definition of sustainability to uh, include community resilience or local resilience to disasters should be include such a definition. While uh, uh, we are thinking about rebuilding the devastated uh, local communities, we should stress the possibility of promoting renewable energy and utilizing local resources. Community-based projects uh, collaborating with NGO NPOs will be key roles. As Al Gore said, uh, crisis in Chinese character means risk and chance. We should uh, make an effort to shift to a real sustainable future based on learning from the Great East Japan earthquake and the Fukushima uh, nuclear disaster. March 11, 2011, this day should be the turning point for a real sustainable future. Uh, and uh, as a chair of local organizing committee for uh, ISA World Congress of Sociology in coming July, uh, I'm looking forward to meeting you all uh, in Yokohama. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. So you can see that uh, sociology meets a lot of challenge, you know, not just conceptualizing, debating, but we also have to think about how can we develop something like disaster sociology. <laughs> you know, that, that, so this is something that we learned from our three speaker this morning. I, I'm sorry for, for very late for your uh, break, uh, but anyway, uh, uh, we should give a hand to our, our three speakers this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Anand and all the speakers. Uh, after we ask uh, 
Associate Professor Phuong Phet Thanasin to give the token of appreciation to all the speakers. Please remain for a few minutes for uh, a very important announcement regarding lunch and everything else. Please, Ajahn. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I have been told by the uh, organizing staff that uh, for those of you who uh, register and receive your, uh, your conference back, some of you got the lunch coupon in that, but most of you don't get it. So <laughs> sorry for that. Uh, please pick it up at the ground floor at the registration desk for the lunch coupon. And if it is a humanity building, it's, it's mean the lunch will be provided or available at the ground floor of, the, of this building. But if it's a faculty of social science, so you have your lunch uh, at uh, the opposite building, okay? Uh, that is for lunch coupon. And um, for all the presenters, please download, uh, please upload, sorry. <laughs> your um, presentation to the secretariat room uh, 7709, all the presenters. Um, and uh, all, the, um, uh, all the separate room for a panel, for a, uh, a different panels, uh, two rooms will be at this floor and six more rooms will be at the seventh floor of this building. So you can choose according to your interest. For prayers room, it's at the seventh floor, room number 7746 and 7706 one. Uh, for Muslim prayers, it's at the seventh floor. Uh, and the reception will be at the evening at the cultural yard of Faculty of Social Science. You, you don't have to worry about where it is because you just follow the crowd and then you know where it is. Okay, and, uh, um, and the break, uh, I'm sorry that we will have to keep the, the short break for you. Uh, it will be at the seventh floor for the, for the break. After that, you go into the separate uh, panel according to your interest. Um, I think that's all for the announcement and please enjoy your, your break and see you at the lunch and reception. Ah, okay. Please, uh, Please keep a short break and then uh, enter into the panel room. Okay. Thank you.